Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys tapping in. As always, uh, thank you to my subscribers. If you haven't done so, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get alerted every time I drop these videos. Anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. Today, we are installing brake caliper covers on a 2021 Dodge Durango. Yes, I said caliper covers. So it is a V6, does not have any Brembo's, no four pistons, nothing like that. But it is all about the visual upgrades, right? Like it looks good. Uh, some of the vinyls that we put on actually just help to make, make all the add-ons pop. So um, I'm gonna walk you guys through the front and the back, how to install this. It's really, really easy, super easy money. Um, gonna get to it, so let's go. So here's the MGP caliper cover box that everything came in. Um, it came from Amazon, so I'll be sure to include the link in the description in case you guys are interested. You can go check that out. It is an officially licensed Mopar product, bling bling. So that says a lot about this. Uh, it's really nice though. These are uh, powder coated, so it's got a really shiny finish to it. Uh, it says Dodge on here, and then it's got the stripes, little imitation nuts and bolts. Uh, but it is, it's pretty lightweight, uh, durable. I know that it is flexible. So uh, when we go to put these on in case we need to, you know, uh, make some adjustments or move them around, it'll give us a little bit of flexibility. Uh, each one comes with two clips. So it makes it really nice and it's distinguishable between the front and the back. Obviously the back is gonna be smaller, the front is larger, um, and then it has a different stock clip. So pretty easy. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get the uh, Durango up and then we'll tap in. basic brake caliper um, everything is original Mopar so what we're looking at is essentially taking these clips from here we're gonna be attaching these on to up here now once we attach those then that's gonna give us the ability to uh, mount the caliper cover and then we'll be able to screw that down So here's both of our mounting brackets. Now what we're gonna do is we want this top part to clip in right here, all right? And you gotta get that to snap down over the front of the caliper, which can kind of be a pain in the ass. There we go. All right, now. That's gonna be locked snug, tight in place. Now, what you do have to make sure is that you have at least an eighth of an inch clearing on this backside so that this clip does not rub on the rotor. So, you can see right down through here, it looks like we're pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Now, clip number two, same thing. I start here from the back side. Get this clip up. Pull up on the front. I'm gonna get this up over that bracket. Beautiful. So, now we have this clip on here. Same thing, you make sure that it clears the rotor, which it does. Okay, both clips mounted. Now it's time for us to install the actual cover. Should just be a nice, easy, clean fitment at this point. Oh, butter. Butter, look at that, easy. All right, let's take our nuts with the lock washer on them. Take 
take our 3 8 wrench and just gently tighten these down you don't want to overdo it because you strip these out and guess what parts start coming off so let's not do that a couple of snug ones Snuggies. Plus, we don't want to damage this powder coating. We don't have to. Snug, snug, snug. A little torque, and we are good. We are good. Look at it. It's not hard, guys. Not hard at all. Now, on to the back. All right, so we got the back side in the air. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the back is a lot easier than the front is. So, as you can see, these clips are a lot less intricate, a <laughs> lot simpler. All we're gonna do here, I'm gonna give this just a slight little pinch and a clamp. We're just gonna push these down right over Here, click that in. Same thing down here. Click that in. Bada bing. Remove the lock washer and nut. So now I'm gonna take the bridge of the cover and attach it here. The same thing down here. Boom, boom. Easy placement. Really easy installation. All right. Take that 3 8 wrench. A couple little torque downs. Check our clearance. We've got good clearance here with the rotor. Beautiful. Same thing down here. Beautiful. Alright. There it is. Hey, that one took us about 45 seconds. A minute and a half to install. Bam. Just like that, we're all done. So look if you guys found this video helpful do me a favor smack that like button subscribe to the channel please 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 it really helps me out um you know i'm trying to grow my audience i want to be able to connect with more of you guys so that's just a better way to do it uh but like that it's all done so until the next one catch you guys later out